technological marvel of the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, was put into operation six months ago. Since it predicts some of the most amazing developments in our solar system, this telescope, which replaces the Hubble telescope, will be excellent for many years. The James Webb Telescope has already started its investigation into the mysteries of our cosmos. With its first set of photographs published on July the 12th, Webb has discovered galaxies that have successfully evaded the boundaries of contemporary theories of space. So fasten your seatbelts, because this trip into space is going to be an exciting one. Webb's images, acquired just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, 13.8 billion years ago, can be used to see the amount of galaxies that is currently visible in the far reaches of space. The telescope's astonishingly clear photos have shown that astronomers' theories about the early cosmos are false. The most well-known rush is perhaps the flood of research teams attempting to locate the farthest galaxy in the Webb data. All of the candidates would surpass Hubble's previous record for the farthest galaxy, which dates from around 400 million years after the Big Bang, even if some of them still need to be verified by additional research. Many distant galaxies with disk-like forms were seen, according to one analysis of Webb's initial deep-field image. Hubble data has led astronomers to the conclusion that while distant galaxies are more uneven in their structures, local galaxies like the Milky Way usually display orderly patterns like disks. The idea was that early galaxies distorted more frequently as a result of interactions with neighboring galaxies. We had an idea of what galaxies at these distances would look like and how much detail we'd be able to see. But I think the reality is just kind of blowing our minds, says J. Han Tepe, an astronomer at the Rochester Institute of Technology in New York. Before the James Webb Space Telescope was put into operation, GNZ-11, which astronomers discovered at 420 million years after the Big Bang, had the most extreme redshift, 11.6, according to astronomers. The further back in time we witness a galaxy, the stronger the redshift. When the cosmos expands, redshift describes how much a galaxy's light has been stretched. Astronomers revealed the finding of galaxies at redshift 13, or around 300 million years after the Big Bang, a week after the release of the first JWST science images. Given that none of these redshift estimates have been confirmed to date, that is a big if. Verifying the distances of these galaxies will require a spectroscopic examination, which separates an object's light into a spectrum. Although the study won't be released right away, JWST is completely capable of locating galaxies from this long past era. Galaxies have been located in various ways. Astronomers led by Hao Zhang Yan of the University of Missouri, Columbia, use the gravitational lens of SMAX J0723 to uncover 88 candidate galaxies beyond a redshift of 11, including a handful that are thought to be at a redshift of 20. If true, these galaxies would be the furthest ones ever seen. These galaxies would currently be located more than 35 billion light years away from us if cosmic expansion were proven. High redshift galaxies are found in two other investigations in parts of the sky where JWST merely conducted deep exposures without employing gravitational lensing. The near-infrared camera on the JWST took pictures of 10 different regions of the sky as part of the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science, or SEERS, study. These patches are counted at six, while the mid-infrared instrument, or mirror, focuses on four. The JWST near-infrared spectrograph, or near-spec, focuses on eight. A team of astronomers, led by University of Edinburgh PhD candidates Callum Doonan, found a candidate galaxy at a redshift of 16.7, or just 250 million years after the Big Bang. Additionally, the team discovered five additional galaxies, all of which broke the previous redshift record set by the Hubble Space Telescope, the JWST's forerunner and present collaborator, with redshifts greater than 12. Using the same observation from Sears, a different team led by Stephen Finkelstein of the University of Texas at Austin found a galaxy that was 280 million years after the Big Bang and had a redshift of 14.3. In recognition of Finkelstein's daughter, the scientists have given this galaxy the name Maisie's Galaxy. The evidence for large UV light emissions from every potential distant galaxy may be enough to answer the question of what ionized the hydrogen gas in the cosmos and put an end to the so-called cosmic dark ages. 
from the radiation from the first stars in galaxies to the first supermassive black hole radiation outflows. Astronomers have proposed a number of explanations. Doonan's group computes the galaxy UV luminosity function between redshifts of 8 and 15 in their paper. Because a galaxy releases more ultraviolet light than hotter young stars form, this is a process approximating star formation. The amount of ultraviolet light admitted by galaxies at any given moment is averaged using this function. According to Doonan's team, the UV energy that the stars in these early galaxies emit is more than enough to ionize the universe. These recently found high redshift galaxies can be thought of as cosmos infants. These galaxies are barely a few thousand light years across and only contain tens of millions of stars, in contrast to contemporary galaxies that can contain hundreds of billions of stars. Astronomers estimate that cosmic babies are less than 100 million years old and may be as young as 20 million years old. Scientists have not yet found the very first galaxies in the cosmos, which may be around redshift 25 or beyond. The newly discovered galaxies, however, indicate generations of galaxies that followed immediately after and are still in their infancy, according to astronomers. It is possible that there were many galaxies in the early history of the universe based on the abundance of high redshift galaxies that JWST is discovering so early in its mission and the amount of ultraviolet light that has been redshifted into longer infrared wavelengths, making it visible to JWST. As we look further back in time, there might be a continuous decline in star formation as opposed to particular forecasts. Instead, Finkelstein's team discovered a rapid fall after redshift 11. Our universe was already filled with galaxies less than 300 million years after the Big Bang, if more spectroscopy confirms these redshifts. Hubble and Webb images of the same galaxies captured at cosmic noon were compared by astronomer Ran Suze of the University of California, Santa Cruz. In the infrared wavelengths Webb measured, the majority of big galaxies appear substantially smaller than in Hubble's images. It could change the way we perceive how galaxy sizes change throughout time. Sue said that the Hubble studies show that galaxies start out tiny and gradually grow. However, the Webb findings hint that Hubble didn't see everything, indicating that galaxy evolution may be more complicated than previously believed. How far back in time JWST can see, and if it will be enough to find the very first galaxies that existed perhaps just 100 million years after the Big Bang, are the next questions. These powerful galaxy candidates have been found by JWST at considerable distances. Since the discovery of early galaxies would depend on unintentional gravitational lensing, it would require a lot of luck. Astronomers are already aware of the changes that will take place over the next several years because Webb is only beginning its 20-year voyage. Even astronomers may question their judgment occasionally. However, we cannot hold them responsible for the expansion of the cosmos and the galaxies.